this lesson, we're going to look at uh, the use of tabs uh, within Titanium applications. Uh, these tabs will work with uh, both iOS and Android. Um, as with most of the lessons, I'm going to demonstrate this on the um, iOS simulator. So, in one of the previous lessons, we looked at uh, the use of lists, and I created this application that had essentially uh, five list items with these custom cells. Uh, and instead of using a list, I want to use a tab. Uh, so we'll have a bunch of tabs at the bottom of the screen. And essentially, it'll do the same kind of thing. So when we select the uh, item, um, it'll switch to a view that has the um, uh, the window that uh, will be part of that part of the, the application. So uh, instead, though, I want to do this with tabs, and so we'll look to see how to do that um, here in this lesson. Okay, so I want to start off with, uh, I'm going to create this as a module, and uh, there's essentially two things that need to happen when uh, we're creating a tab. Uh, we're going to first of all use uh, what's called the tab group. Uh, and that essentially is going to be our application. And then within the tab group, we're going to add multiple tabs, and each of these tabs is going to be represented by a window. So uh, let's start off with creating um, a tab um, function. So I'm going to call this um, app tab group. And I'm going to take as uh, an input parameter for this uh, this module, an array. Uh, and this array is going to look a lot like what we had in our previous, uh, one of our previous uh, uh, episodes. Um, I've added, so I have title, subtitle, image. I've also added a short title. Um, the short title is what we will use for uh, the title of each one of the tabs. Okay, and then uh, the rest of this code actually is just uh, requiring this module that I'm creating, and then we're going to create a new version, or sorry, a new instance of that, and passing this uh, this array to the uh, the tab group, and then we'll open it. Okay, so let's um, let's start. Then oh, I need to add the exports piece here. So module equals app tab group. And um, so I'm going to uh, create the tab group. Um, and so I'll do a ti.ui.create tab group. And this is the object that uh, we'll be returning. So I'm just going to add the return there. Uh, so the way that uh, these tab groups work is we create a window, and then we create a tab. We add that tab to the tab group. And uh, I'm going to start off real simply here with just creating two tabs. Um, and then um, I'll use an array to, to actually use this, uh, uh, and a loop to use this array. OK, so let's uh, first create a window. I'm just going to create a simple window. Create window and um, I'm going to get a background color of white and um, a title. And I'm just going to use the uh, first item in the data array and then the short title for that. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the first thing, and then then uh, actually I'm going to create two windows. Let me actually call this window zero. I'm going to create another window. Call it window one. And then I'm going to create uh, the two tabs. So I'm going to create tab zero. Tab. And for the, um, the properties of this tab, I'm going to use the short title. 
of uh, the first item in the array. And I'm going to use the icon that's specified in the array. So we have an icon uh, that uh, I've added. Uh, yeah, just to make a note here that I've created this icons directory and then I've put in a number of, of files there. Um, each one of those is, um, is some image. And then, uh, so I'm going to use that for the tab. the image and then finally um, this piece here I need to specify which window <coughs> uh, constitutes the, the contents of the tab so I'm going to put window 0 there and then do the same thing with the second tab that I'm creating call that one tab 1 and use the second item in the list for those tabs. Uh, there's another piece that I need to do with uh, these tabs. Um, actually, it's the window. So for window zero, I need to specify which, uh, which tab contains the window. So I'm going to use containing tab equals tab zero and for win one the containing tab is tab one all right one more step i need to add the tabs to the tab group so self.add tab win zero and then the same thing for win one Okay, so let's see what this does. Start up the simulator. So what I should have are two tabs. Uh, one of them is a tab for uh, the first item, so research. The other one is a tab for the second item, the notes. So we'll see that here in a second when the app comes up. Oh, I missed something. Um, I passed. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, these should be tab, tab zero and tab one. Okay, here we go. Um, so <clears throat> we have the uh, uh, we have the two tabs, one for research, one for notes. Uh, I didn't. I must have done something with the color for the first window because uh, the color is appearing as um, as black. Create window. Um, I don't see it, but that's not the important piece. The important piece here is that uh, we do have two separate tabs. Um, each of them, um, actually, I'm wondering. Oh, here. Okay, so this should be window one. Um, I'm not sure why the color isn't appearing properly. this again there we go okay so here are the two different tabs you'll notice that the uh, the title changes for the uh, the window on each of these um, so anyway so that's uh, that's the basics of tabs uh, what I want to do with um, that array instead of uh, instead of creating each one of these uh, in sequence uh, I'm going to create an array, or sorry, a loop that will uh, essentially do the same thing so that we have all of the items that are in our, our data array. So uh, let's keep, uh, let's see, we don't need win one, and we don't need tab one. 
uh, and we're going to create a loop here. So I'm going to do uh, for bar i equals zero, i less than data uh, dot length, i plus plus. And then I'm going to change these zeros to i because we're going to iterate through the list create each of these and uh, and then I also need to add the tabs to the window and actually let me change this this to win and that to just tab Okay, and then one more thing that I want to do is I want to add a label to the window. Um, so we'll do, um, uh, let's see, a label equals ti dot ui dot create label. And we're going to take the, uh, the subtitle as the uh, as the text for the label, and then add the label to the uh, to the window. Okay, so what I should end up getting then is uh, at the subtitle um, positioned in the middle of the window for uh, for the tab. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so here is uh, our set of tabs. Uh, each of these um, has uh, a different window associated with it, um, and uh, that ends up being displayed um, as we select through each one of the tabs. So anyway, so that concludes uh, this lesson. Again, um, as far as creating tabs go, you create a tab group, uh, create a window, uh, add that window to a tab, add the tab to the, uh, uh, to the tab group. Um, and then um, since I've created this a module, as a module, uh, we would actually at some point need to actually open the tab group and that's what uh, this piece does here is opens the tab group. So anyway, uh, the, the other thing uh, to note is that uh, the tab group is what act as your application. It's the, it's uh, the root level of the uh, of the application so uh, you don't need to create an extra window and add the tab group to the window um, the tab group is the application so uh, yeah so that's uh, that concludes uh, this lesson